dear learner welcome in my lecture of web technology today i will discuss about introduction to form the form form input tag tax input i am dr ashutosh kumar bhat associate professor school of computer science and it uttarakhand open university haldwani so the learning objective of this lecture is to enable learner how to create form and to implement tax box check box radio button in the form however in the previous lecture we have discussed about html tables table attribute rows and columns so first of all how to create a form a form is an area that can contain form element so you can see here uh, the form and slash form between these two element or these two tags we we write the form so this is the complete structure of a program program will start by html and the first portion of it that is head portion and inside head we have title and inside body you can see the form tags are there so we can use heading 1 heading 2 paragraph and along with these heading and paragraph we can also create a form so this is the complete structure of html file and the form elements are encapsulated within body tag and we can create these forms separately so uh, commonly used form element they include tax field radio button check box and submit button so we can we can use these element these form element within form and these are very important form element like tax field radio button check boxes and submit button and apart from these element we can also use some more element so this is one example where we are implementing the form so form inside the form we have two tax box you can see the output bottom in the bottom of this slide the output you can see first name and last name and there are two tax boxes before uh, each label first name and last name and these are two tax boxes so but how we will write the statement to create these tax box uh, we will write first name that is label and then inside inside the tag we have mentioned input type tax so simply we have to write here type so it is tax and in case of radio button we will write here input type radio in case of check box we will write check box and name first name so first name is a variable name then line break and then last name this is second label and inside after this last name we have input type tax again and variable name last name so these are two tax boxes and their name first name and last name and form will be closed when we will execute this uh, piece of code uh, with html so we will find this output so we can create this type of output uh, using form and forms tax input field tax field now see the another example here uh, suppose we have to create this type of form where first name and last name we are mentioned here we have given the output window and uh, then we have submit button so how we will write the code for this uh, for this output so uh, you can see this is the code so again here the code is mentioned form action you can see here action tag we are also using in this program but in previous program we have not used any action tag we simply we have used form tag and we have closed it by slash form but here we are using form action and uh, this action the meaning of this action is uh, we have third button third uh, element that is submit button first element first is label second is 
input type text so uh, first label for f name first name so this is label label is closed line break and then we have mentioned input type id equals to f name value by default its value john will be and then two line break and third in third line we have given here input type submit so this is submit button see the output also here submit button this submit button is displayed by this third line input type submit value submit so the caption of this button is submit and its input type is submit input type may be button also so when we will click on this submit button then action will happen so this action then this action will execute and in action we are running a php file so slash action underscore page dot php so this is php file so uh, this is under some root directory suppose we have stored in any different directory then we will write the complete path of that directory so accordingly it will execute that php file so uh, this is the file which is on browser so we are running the file from browser as we will submit it as we will click on submit button so as we will click on submit button accordingly it will uh, execute this action tag action element and inside action element we have given the path of file so automatically it will execute that php file that uh, uh, we can also write here php as well as jsp file so directly we can execute the jsp file also php file asp file active server pages java server pages or uh, the third one is this uh, pre processor hypertext programming uh, so we can execute this php also so uh, this is uh, a program uh, this is a very simple program where we are implementing this form tag and how to use uh, the different label as well as uh, text field inside the form tag. So this is output again. Now see uh, this is one uh, example of form. Here we have mentioned here username and password. So password is uh, asterisk. It is displayed in asterisk sign. We are not seeing the actual character so uh, this is a kind of text box that is password text box so this is this text box uh, automatically convert uh, whatever we are writing it will convert it into asterisk sign or hash sign so as we will uh, mention them uh, while we are providing the settings so submit button is there as we will submit then username and password will will transfer to the server and accordingly server will display that user id the detail or mail of that user id or uh, that particular respective account also so this is another example so you can create program for that also this is screen also so uh, it happens in html in html we can create such type of forms using the programming now uh, see the another output window so here in this output window we have first in in first row we have name that is text box then then this uh, date of birth uh, this is advanced html html5 this is the part of html5 where we can we can input ddmmyyyy format date in this format then we have sex are two radio buttons we have email that is also text box address is text box school is combo box we can create combo box also department and courses are in combo box so we don't have to type anything uh, automatically it will select as we will click on that com combo box then accordingly it will display uh, the all the department and accordingly we will select that particular department and finally mobile number that is also text type uh, and we have submit button we have reset button so uh, this is a example of form where uh, we are using radio button we are using calendar uh, control we are using text field we are using combo box and uh, and radio buttons so in one form 
we can include so many elements form element so this is again example of checkbox here uh, we are using we are writing a program uh, for showing two checkbox check boxes so you can see the output in the bottom of this slide i have a bike i have a car so form input type equals to checkbox checkbox in previous program we have written input type input type equals to text so here we are writing here input type equals to text so it will show two text boxes but in this program uh, we are showing two check boxes so two time we are writing input type check box and again uh, after break we are writing input type check box and their variable name their name bike and car are the variable name and value bike i have a bike so this is the message just and value car so type check boxes name equals to car and value equals to car also if we will not input anything then it will automatically it will understand the default value that is car so uh, it is used when we want to we want the user to send one or more options to limited number of choice so in case of checkbox we can select only one option and uh, automatically other option will be false uh, but but when we will select the checkbox group then we can select multiple 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 items so in a checkbox group this is called checkbox group when we can select the multiple items so in a checkbox group a user can select more than one options but here only in case of checkbox we can select only one option other automatically will be false one will true and other one will be false so this is the example of radio button so again this is the same example as in previous example input type checkbox here we have mentioned input type radio and name and uh, name will be same because radio button always uh, here the names are different bike and another checkbox is car so in this case we can select more than it one item in case of checkbox while in case of radio button we can select only one item uh, so only one variable needs to be defined here variable name name equals to sex and name equals to uh, again sex both uh, both radio button will save in sex variable so this uh, single variable will represent both radio buttons and value male and female so we have mentioned here value male and female so this is caption male and female uh, this value by default will be inside two variables so this is the example of radio button so both are very interesting the radio button however operate as a group and provide multi mutually exclusive selection values and a user can select only one option in a radio button group uh, but in checkbox group he can select he or she can select more than one item but here he he or she will select only one one option so uh, so the variable name of both radio button will be same so this is the example of radio button so uh, after listening this lecture uh, the learner can create a form and this is the learning outcome of this uh, lecture and also learner can practically implement the text box check box radio button in the form and in next lecture we will discuss about pull down menu and submission button placeholder text specific text input like email url number search slider date picker user age audio and video in the html form and practically we will show how to uh, implement these these uh, some of these uh, terms and some of the terms are introductory so we will explain you uh, what is their importance so thank you thank you very much